bag that you'll find at Walmart and um, among other things. You got your ruler, little bendy ruler here, little plastic fork that you get at the restaurants. You got your little uh, piece of styrofoam from like styrofoam cup. And um, I actually I have no idea what this is. Um, little piece of black thing. So um, I thought I'd let you guys decide what we should try first. A ruler? Yeah. Ruler. You got it. Let's do it. Alright, so that's what's fun about this. I can just kind of pop this in here. Let's see if we oh it's bendy. It'll be fine. And so I'm gonna bring this over here. So right in the center of here is a little little diamond. And so we're gonna center that right over that and then I'm gonna squeeze it down gently. here and I've already done a background so this is what it does basically is before we run a sample we want to run a background because it has to test like what's going on in the air what's going on around it um, so it can measure what uh, your object is a little bit better it can it can kind of ignore the things that's already kind of sensed in your your uh, background so now we can uh, collect our sample and normally we would give it a really cool name, like, I don't know, whatever today's date is, and uh, blue ruler, and um, whatever it might be, sample number one. And there we go. She's scanning away. Everybody drum roll, drum roll, <laughs> drum roll. It's very exciting, it's very exciting. Because what it's doing actually, so these numbers that it's running through, so it, this 18 means it's taking like 18 scans, right? So I can, when I'm setting this up, I can change it to as many as I want. I can say take 40 scans, and that means it's going to be a little bit more accurate because it's going to it's going to bounce that laser that many times, so that way it can narrow down that spectra a lot better. So here we go. It's measuring it up against this background here, so. We're gonna take this and we're gonna go over to, where's my analyze, search. We're gonna, we're gonna search it. So it says it's polyester, 68% polyester. And then all of these other ones say polyester and ignore cocaine because Georgia State Crime Lab <laughs> Library thinks everything is drugs. Thinks everything's, <laughs> thinks everything's some kind of opioid or it's something just, like that. It's just one of the libraries we have in here. And yep, it thinks everything is drugs, but um, everything else says it's, it's polyester. And so what it's doing here is this is our, our spectrum that it ran on our sample. And it's saying, okay, this other spectrum we have that is polyester, it says, oh, look at that peak right there. It's matching them. Look at that peak right there. It's matching that. And then like over here, it's matching those peaks and it's saying, oh, those peaks are occurring at the same absorbance level, uh, at that same, that same wave number, right? So it's saying that's the percentage, 68% of how close it is to our spectrum that we have just ran, right? And then it's saying, oh, this other polyester spectrum, that, which is a little different, it's saying, oh, it matches that too at 67%, right? So you can kind of scroll down and be like, oh, you know, do your own kind of matching. You can be like, oh, then maybe that doesn't match quite right. Let's see what else we've got here. But it kind of does all the work for you. So you don't really have to do that. Um, sorry, does anyone have any questions on like how that cool. works?